Sunday's NFL Week 2 action is in the books, and let's be honest, it was an absolutely bonkers day of football. We saw tons and tons of comebacks, we saw some tantrums, we saw some finishes that were just plain out insane. Let's do what we do, hand out some awards. We start with the best job of acting like a baby by a seven-time Super Bowl champ, and that goes to, yep, you guessed it, Tommy Brady. This guy looked miserable just showing up to the stadium on Sunday. He then threw some fits on the sidelines. He tossed his helmet one time. He took that Microsoft tablet thing and threw that one another time. Then later on in the game, he was whining at a ref about a no call. And that basically started a brawl between the Saints and Bucks that led to a couple ejections. Mike Evans was gone. Marcus Lattimore was gone. And there was Tommy Brady going, I didn't do anything. <laughs> yes, you acted like a child throughout the game. You started a fight, basically, but hey, you got the win, so I guess that's good. Next, we look at the best job of looking like a legendary quarterback, and that goes to Miami Dolphins QB, Tua Tungviolua. Who? Yes, this guy, who's taken a lot of heat in his short career, came out on Sunday and played the game of his life. He threw not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six touchdown passes. The Dolphins stormed back to stun the Ravens in Baltimore. They had 28 points in the fourth quarter. Tua threw five touchdowns in the second half alone. I mean, come on. This guy joined Dan Marino as the only quarterback in franchise history to have 400 yards and five touchdown passes in the same game. And now all of a sudden, next week's showdown with the Bills looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. And finally, we look at the worst job of scoring a touchdown and that goes to Browns running back Nick Chubb. I feel bad for this guy because I'm guessing since birth, Coaches have been telling him, hey, take that ball and get it in the end zone. And that's exactly what he did with just under two minutes left of Sunday's Browns-Jets game. The only problem, it gave Cleveland a 13-point lead. It gave the Jets time to score, and they scored not once, but twice, shockingly, and won the game by a point. So here's what would happen. If Chubb had just taken a knee near the end zone, chances are the Browns would have went on and won the game. The Jets had no timeouts left. It was under two minutes left. The time would have ran down. The Browns would have kicked a field goal at least, and they would have won the game. Instead, the Jets get one of the wildest victories in week two. I can't believe it. The New York Jets did something good. What's going on in this world? Man, football is back. Football is awesome. And I can't wait for week three. Tua Tungviolua.